everyone, I'm Elizabeth with The Grid Gaming and I'm going to start you off with some news headlines and then we're going to learn about some games. Amazon UK has just posted Rise of the Tomb Raider as available for both current gen and last gen. At E3, we really only heard some information on it being on the Xbox One. The US Amazon still only has the game listed as coming to the Xbox One. We will just have to wait and see if this is true or just a mistake. The creator of Fez, Phil Fish, has announced that Polytron is working on a new game called Panoramical. They have been showcasing the game at a number of different events like Fantastic Arcade and Indiecade. They are saying the game is, quote, a digital anthology of musical landscapes with analog controls. Panoramical is set to release on PC and Mac via Steam in 2015. All right, so I found a game called Bubble Witch 2 Saga by King, which recently just passed Candy Crush as the second top free game. Don't Tap the White Tile is still in first. Metroider 71 holds the new high score, 7.841. Dear God, dude, he must have like robot fingers or something. Mine would seriously just like fall off. But anyway, Bubble Witch 2 Saga is another addicting puzzle game, but I honestly wasn't that addicted to it. You play with Stella and her cat, and it kind of reminds me of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, if you guys used to watch that. But you're given like goals in the beginning, and it's like to clear the top or free a ghost or something like that and you shoot the bubbles to match colors and you can bounce the bubbles off the walls that's pretty cool but the levels change shape so sometimes like there's bubbles across the top and others they're like spinning in a wheel which changes it up but you're given a limited number of bubbles so you want to make sure you use them up in time and get them all down uh, something different is that the you can get bubbles in the cauldrons to get higher points and sometimes there's hot cauldrons which is double points and there's like special bubbles that you need to unlock but I didn't quite get that far honestly this game just like really wasn't for me I love puzzle games but this one just it just didn't do it so I don't know try it out let me know if like I'm missing something awesome that makes it more fun tweet me at great Elizabeth and let me know and all right Greg is going to talk about some wild star in his own little corner right now Thanks, Elizabeth. Greg Wilmot from The Grid Gaming, as you can tell, because, I mean, you're watching The Grid Gaming right now, so what else would it be? That's it. So, anyways, Wildstar. You guys want to know about it. Is it the big WoW killer that everybody says that it was supposed to be? I'm going to do a quick answer and say, I think so. Now, it's very interesting because this game was developed by Carbine Studios, and actually some Blizzard former employees started Carbine Studios. So, it's pretty interesting because you see the art style is kind of the same. It's got the same comedy, but there's one key, there's a few key differences, but the main key difference between this and World of Warcraft is the combat system. Gone are the days of you just standing there pressing buttons. Now it's very active, you can dodge, you can jump, you can move around, because you shoot in an area of effect, which makes PvP awesome. And, not only does it make it awesome, but you actually have to have skill to play this game. Not saying that you don't have skill in WoW, but this one you have to have more skill. It's directly, uh, it's a direct correlation. I said, uh. You like that, fans? I do. <laughs> so moving on, you can actually have your own customized house. You can have your own customized vehicle. It's just a fantastic game. I think it's the WoW killer. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Tweet at me, at McSquaresville, and tweet at Aaron and Elizabeth and Botherham and all that stuff. Hey, Aaron, you got a game. Show us what you got. Thank you, Gregory. It's always good to hear from you. But now we're going to go to Angry Birds Epic, a new Rovio game that was just released. And we're not going to go into a big review about it. We're just going to kind of give you guys a few, a few points about it. But it's, it's, it's still an Angry Birds game. I don't know if you guys care too much about Angry Birds anymore. But it's definitely not the old Angry Birds style where you're you know, dragging your finger back and releasing Angry Birds. It is now a turn-based RPG type game. And it doesn't do anything like extra out of the ordinary that most RPGs already do. It kind of just does the same things, but it's Rovio for mobile. So it does have everything bright. It does have, you know, the, the graphics are crisp. Everything looks fun. Um, it's, but since it is a mobile game, like I said, it's not going to do anything that, a, you know, a, a console RPG can't do or anything. But I would say for you guys who want to do RPG games but don't really want to go too hard into the console stuff and don't really have time, it is a good game to do, so I recommend it. Let me know if you guys try it, and if you do, you guys should tweet me. Because it's about birds. Tweet. That's comedy. Back to you guys. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Elizabeth with The Grid Gaming. Have a good morning, day, evening, whatever. Hey, Greg. Oh.
Hi, Aaron. I guess we're not done yet. Hi, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the games we're going to be giving away for our contest in case you guys missed it. Hyperstone Heist on the Genesis, TMNT on the Nintendo, some cards, some Game Boy games, even Greg's got a game. Follow the foot. Follow the foot clan. Why don't you tell them about the contest and stuff? I have I'm a gonna, mic on. I'm going to go. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> oh, God.